Hello Sunshines and welcome to Devaling to Plays Frog Detective 3 Corruption at Cowboy County by Grace Bruxner and Thomas Balker. You're a detective and a frog and it's time to solve a mystery. Also maybe get a date? If you want to see more games from this channel drop a like and a follow and tell me in the comments what you want to see me play next. Warning, this video contains strong language. Discretion is advised. Now without further ado, let's get started. Look at that. They got the swagger. Can I help you? Yeah, hi, Supervisor. My name is Mystery Monkey. We talked on the phone a while back about the mystery of the haunted island. Of course, how could I forget? It's good to see you. Likewise, I realize this is highly unusual, but I'm here about one of your detectives. Ah, is it Lobster Cop? No. Investigator Eel? No. Inspector Iguano, the incredible Sandy Moth, P.I.? No, none of these. Uh, I'm here about Frog Detective. Oh, of course, our second best detective. Well, the detective isn't around right now. I sent my to two top investigators to help over in Cowboy County. You haven't heard? Heard what? The detective has been framed for a crime over in Cowboy County. That's terrible news. How can you be sure it's a setup? The story doesn't add up. I know Frog Detective would never do something so horrible as to steal, steal the town's hats. Well, there is a clear motive there. I know, I know. But it's so out of character. Even if the de detective is guilty, the punishment is really harsh. The detective has been sent to the bad room. Oh no! What's the bad room? It's something that Sheriff Mason Mole invented. Mason Mole? That name sounds familiar. Oh? I've seen him around before, just sort of loitering around the offices. Loitering, you say? I remember a kind of shady guy hanging on the Martin's Island back when we were there to investigate the ghost noises. Which I don't remember at all. He arrived shortly before the detective, but I didn't get a chance to catch his name. He didn't even say hello. When I saw his photo on the frog block, I knew right away something was amiss. Great detective skills, Mr. Monkey. I know it's a big ask, but do you mind if I snoop around Frog Detective's office to look for clues? Be my guest. I shouldn't snoop in Lobster Cop's office unless I really have to. Yeah, he's not even in this. He, I mean, I suppose it would be. It would make sense that he's not in this picture, but whatever. What's this? Clue detecting powder. How convenient. I'll just spread this powder around and take another look for clues. Got clue detecting powder. Left click. <gasps> A clue. Beep, boop, boop, boop. What's this? What's going on here? Where are we going? Oh, we're... We're doing something. Huh? It couldn't be. Be hiding. P 
picture of the notebook. <laughs> a copy of the detective's notebook? Lobster Cop and Mason Mall. A note. It reads Hello, Lobster Cop. It's me, your bestie forever, Mason Mole. I have done what you asked. It was not easy to trail the detective unnoticed, but I think I did a great job. I fear that your suspicions are correct and that Frog Detective is on the right track to overtaking your position as number one best detective. If you keep pretending to solve mysteries instead of actually solving them, the supervisor will eventually notice. So I've taken the detective's notebook. Inside are some great insights on how the detective works through the a case. Maybe you can read them and learn. But it may not be enough. As the detective gets better and better, your position as number one is threatened. I think it's time to enact the plan you came up with. It's devious and mean and not very nice. But if you want to be the best, you have to get rid of the best. Hmm. This can't be true. Lobster cop, the be number one best detective, a fraud? I need to get the supervisor and head to Cowboy County. There has been a terrible misjustice. <laughs> nope. Can't go in there. But what's going on over here? Howdy, folks. What brings you to Cowboy County so late? This is our turf, so you better have a good reason. We don't... We don't want any trouble. We hear about our good friend, the Frog Detective. Ah, oh, the duality of Frog. How can one be so kind, poetic, and thoughtful also be a stealer of all our hats? A frog so pretty, so alluring, and yet... I really trusted Frog Detective, that snake. I can't go on a date with a criminal. It's just not me. Aren't you a bandit? Outlaw. So you live outside the law? Well, when there's no laws, it makes it pretty easy. It doesn't matter anyway. Frog Detective is innocent. <laughs> sure, we all saw the photo. Those furrowed brows tell the whole story. Frog Detective doesn't even have eyebrows. Ah, uh, so those were stolen too. No, you're mistaken. Mystery Monkey found all the evidence. Who's Mystery Monkey? That's me. You may have read my comments before on Frog Detective's frog blog. I'm a pretty active user. Blogs are still a thing? Regardless, you say it was a mistake? Not so much a mistake, a setup. I have reason to believe Sheriff Mason Mole and Lobster Cough coordinated the takedown of our beloved frog detective. What? That's so messed up. <clears throat> Who would do such a beautiful... So, uh, do that to such a beautiful frog. Someone very jealous, I'm afraid. How can we help? If you could point us in the direction of where Frog Detective is being held, that would help a lot. Easy. Sheriff Mason Mole has the detective locked up in the bad room at the back of his sheriff's office. If you're quiet, you should be able to sneak in without trouble. Thanks for your help, bandits. We're outlaws. My bad. All right. Do I get a... No, I don't get a scooter. Dang it. Zzz. Looks like he's tuckered out for another day of being mean, nasty liar. I won't wake him. What's up, dude? Mystery monkey? Supervisor? What are you doing here? I didn't know I was allowed visitors in bad room, or that anyone would want to visit me. We're here to bust you out. What? Mystery Monkey has proof you were framed. I knew it. Sheriff Mason Mole was up to something. It's not just him, Detective. I'm sorry to tell you that I believe Lobster Cop and Mason Mole planned this all along. It can't be. Lobster Cop is number one best detective. Why would he try to frame me? 
It's hard to know for sure, until we ask, but it looks like Lobster Cock has been dealing with a bad case of jealousy. Green with envy, one might say. Envious? Of who? You, Detective. It's not possible. It's time to shift your understanding of the world, Detective. Not everyone is out to do a good job and solve mysteries like you. I simply can't believe it. Well, let's wait until dawn and confront Lobster Cop and Mason Moore once and for all. The sun is coming up as we speak. I'll call a town meeting. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? Only I get to call town meetings. I have called this town meeting for a very important purpose. I have some news about the hat stealing case. But it's closed. I solved it. Is that so, Lobster Cop? Supervisor, what are you doing here? Please give your attention to Mystery Monkey for just a moment. Thank you, Supervisor. Thank you, your ta Thank you, Town, for meeting us here on such short notice. Sheriff Mason Mole, I have an important question to ask you. What? How long have you and Lobster Cop been scheming to bring down Frog Detective? <gasps> Uh, what? I... This is ridiculous! Lobster Cop, I found the secret drawer in your office. You can't just go through my office, that's a crime. Please stop tr trying to invent crimes, crime is not real. As I was saying, I found your secret drawer. I found a letter that Mason Mole wrote to you. I knew I shouldn't have detailed my schemes on paper. Mace Sheriff Mason Mole has been tailing the detective since I called for help with the mystery of the haunted island. As the lead scientist on the island at the time, I can confirm I had several reported sightings of Mason Mole sneaking around like a slippery snake. Wait, why didn't you tell me? It feels like someone sneaking around the island is kind of relevant to that case. I was too starstruck. In any case, I contacted my friend Carlos, who runs a shop over in Warlock Woods. He also confirmed a sighting of Mason Mole hiding behind his shop. What? I, I never... Oh, but you did. Sheriff Mason Mole, I have reason to believe you were hired by Lobster Cop to follow the detective. <gasps> no, I... No, that's not... I... Uh... <laughs> it's a single teardrop. This is all a mistake. No, Mason Mole. It's time for us to come clean. Frog Detective, ever since you moved next door to my office, I felt threatened. You were so methodical in your case solving, I would read your blogs and go green with envy. Even though I'm red. I'm a red lobster. I've been number one best detective for so long, I grew complacent. Every time the supervisor had a mystery to solve, I began to believe I wouldn't be able to do it and passed it on to you. I just began to pretend to solve mysteries, hoping the supervisor wouldn't notice. I was embarrassed at myself and angry at you. Angry? But Lobster Cop, your investigat investigative cells, investigative abilities far outweigh mine. Maybe they used to. But I became so focused on my own shortcomings that my work suffered. Mason Mole was there for me. Having friends is so important, but we were a bad influence on each other. I needed work, and I also, and then so I suggested to Lobster Cop that I may take you down. I could, that I help you take. Wow, I can't read today. I needed work, and so I suggested to Lobster Cop that I help take you down. And I had the perfect plan. I'm very subtle, you see. I'm ashamed that it got to that point. Instead of asking you for help or swallowing my pride, I let my jealousy get the best of me. How did you frame the detective? It was a joint effort. When I arrived in town, I sneakily stole all the hats and quickly buried them in the graveyard. I wrote a map to where they were buried for the detective to find. But I didn't find the map, Susie did. I didn't execute it very well, I admit. Once you had the resources to dig up the hats and Lobster Cop had a clear alibi, I waited in place to take your photo. Wait, what was Lobster Cop's alibi? I was eating a delicious meal. Of course! I'm ashamed to say that I also drew evil eyebrows in the photo of you. But... What I don't understand is why you had to put me in bad room. Framing me was bad enough, but you made a whole room for me to be trapped in. That's so unusually cruel. 
I'm inclined to agree. Putting someone into a room, whether they did a naughty thing or not, seems really harsh and unfair. How is someone supposed to grow from their mistakes if they're just sitting around and trapped? I really hate that room. Bad room was my idea. I'm sorry. It's a terrible idea. I realize this now. My bad. Lobster cop, Mason Mole, you have done something very serious and mean. Something similar to a crime. Our society doesn't have strategies in place to deal with things like this. Are you going to send us to bad room? Absolutely not. That's messed up. No, but I think there needs to be consequences. Lobster cop, you have abused your powers in ways that I cannot begin to comprehend. Mason Mole, you enabled and encouraged this behavior. I managed you both. We deserve that. I think an appropriate course of action is to remove Lobster Cop from the detective agency. I think you should change career path for your own good. Maybe do something that helps contribute to society. Cop no longer. Okay. I will hand in my badge and gun. Gun? Wait, why do you have a gun? I didn't even know they were real. That's really messed up. It's not like I ever used it. Mate. I gave Lobster Cop the gun. Okay, well, yes, please hand that in. I have an idea of what you could do as a job lobster cop. Oh? Why don't you talk to Barney about joining the post office? Lobster posty has a nice ring to it. Can I join too? I don't see why not. Well, then it's settled. Lobster posty posty mason mole, do you have anything to say to the detective? Yes. I'm sincerely sorry for what I did to you, detective. It was mean, rude, evil, and not nice. I don't expect you to forgive me, but I hope with time I can prove myself as a great posty and right some of the wrongs I've done. Detective, I acted poorly and encouraged behavior that I shouldn't have. I'm going to channel that energy into being a posty, and please rest assured I will never have a late parcel again. You will never have a late parcel again. Thank you both for the apology. I accept it. Say, now that that's all sorted, I have an announcement to make. Oh? Lobster Cop is no longer the number one best detective. After some impeccable detective work on this case, I am really pleased to announce that the new number one best detective. Congratulations to... Mystery Monkey! <laughs> wow, congratulations, Mystery Monkey. What an achievement. I can't believe it. Thank you so much. I'll have to shut down my research facility so I can investigate full time. You can move into my old you can move into my old office. There's already a bunch of trophies in there for you to keep. Great! What an honor to work next door to the number one best detective. Again! This calls for a celebration. Bonnie, can you prep the saloon for a dance party? Can do. Oh, and lobster posty posty mason mole? Yeah. You're invited too.
dance party. Frog Detective, Crime Solving Agency, Frog Detective speaking. How may I solve your mystery? Hey, Frog Detective. Yes, Mystery Monkey? Happy birthday! Thanks so much! I know it's your birthday, but I have a really difficult case that I just can't crack. But you're the num your number one best detective. I know, but this one is a doozy. Could you help me out? Of course, I'll be right there. Boop. Hello. <laughs> Taped her face all over the photographs. Hey, detective. Well, 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 if it isn't Mystery Monkey 49. Good to see you, Frog Detective 03. What? Just a joke. But are there two other frog detectives? I don't know. I was just joking. You got me worried. That really stresses me out. Frog Detective 1, Frog Detective 2, and now Frog Detective 3? How do you think I feel with 48 other mystery monkeys? Hmm, that's a good point. Anyway, thanks for meeting me here. The case information in the other is in the other room, just ahead down the hallway, and I'll meet you there. Will do. <laughs> yep, just pasted her face all over the pictures. Even that one. <laughs> What's going on? What is this? <gasps> Surprise! Wow, what is every what's everyone doing here? This is Larry. I don't remember what Larry's voice was. Well, detective, we all appreciate everything you've done for us. Yeah, our town has never been so peaceful, all thanks to you. Same with my island. I haven't heard a ghost in ages. I mean, technically you never heard a ghost. We heard it's your birthday, so we all arranged to come here and surprise you. It worked. That's not all to that's that's not all detective. We got you a present. It should be coming any minute now. I ordered it on Wizbay. Special delivery. Special birthday delivery. Is that for me? Who's Mo? Oh, Mo is a mouse. Open it up! <gasps> Happy birthday! Wait, what is this? That's easy to take. That's easy, detective. It's a hat. I can't wear hats due to my head shape. Why don't you just try it on? Would you look at that? It's a hat that fits. Oh, and he's crying. Thank you for playing Frog Detective. We have loved making these games for you, and we are so grateful that so many people have spent time with our silly story. It's precious. <laughs> Our latest toast science discovery jam, discovery jam. Love Mo and Mystery Monkey. They're girlfriends. Collaborating on our latest potion, Lola and Mandy. What's happening? We're celebrating Craig's acceptance to the Ghost Spotters League. Yay! See you soon. Love from Bonnie, Craig, and Susan. Finally got a sponsorship deal with Dr. Tight Smiles 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Paste for Teeth. XO Fresh X. <laughs> Family reunion! So much wool was shed. Gross! <laughs> From Noodle and Barney. They went on their date! Thanks for our date. I had so much... Uh, can't even remember how to do a country accent. Thanks for our date! I had so much fun. 
XO Sherman. So handy to have a muse next door. Uh, right next door to the saloon. Regards, Pistol. I can't tell you what I'm up to, but it's very cool and secret. Eat after reading. <laughs> I'm the sheriff now. I didn't even have to beat up anyone. From Brown to Dynamite. Finally convinced Carlos to take a holiday. Best, Ralph. We are not the same guy. Larry and Lobster Posty. <laughs> My first day of cowboy school, Dusty. What do you have to say for yourself? Employee of the month at the post office. Thanks, Mason Mole. <laughs> oh, good lord. Thanks for the magnet. I attached it to this boat and went super fast. Warm regards, koala. There are so many shells down here. Well wishes from the deep blue ocean orbit. We performed together at the latest dance contest. We came in third, Fenley and Martin. Too busy signing autographs right now. Talk later, Mary XO. Kisses and hugs. I broke my leg. Sent from my phone, naughty. <laughs> I literally have not let the hasa since you were here from Victor. <laughs> Excellent. I finally met my hero, Lobster Co I mean, Lobster Posty. Much love, Susan. Dog. Please. That was so cute. Thank you for joining me as I played Frog Detective 3 Corruption at Cowboy County by Grace Bruxner and Thomas Belker. The next episode will be out shortly. If you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, a follow, and ring that notification bell so you know when a new episode drops. Also, don't forget to check out the link to the completely free Discord server to chat about games and whatever else is on your mind. Let's keep the comments chill, so no hate or spoilers, as I'm not above removing those comments and the people who make them. That's all for now, folks, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>